Kendall? Are you there? Uh, yeah, sorry. The, uh, the, the reception on the plane is kind of bad. I don't get it. What are you doing with Aiden's phone? Um, well, you know how I was supposed to go to Chicago for my book signing? Uh-huh. It turns out that Aiden, uh, is also going there for work. And he happens to be on my plane. Yeah, he's actually sitting right next to me. So you and Aiden are going to Chicago together? We're flying together. Is that okay with you? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Does Zach know? Ryan, what are you doing here? Hey, I just, uh, came to see Kendall. I need to talk to her. She's out of town. Well, your wife's here. You can talk to her. Joe, hmm. I just got paged. Is it Frankie? No, no, Frank is fine. Oh, I just needed your signature and some paperwork. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought you were still on duty. Yep. Well, I'm taking your advice. I'm, I'm going to go and visit Jesse's grave. I think it'll do you some good. Maybe. You know, but in a way, it feels like I'm saying the final goodbye. Oh. I wish I could convince you to stay on here. Hospital needs you. Oh, Joe, I appreciate the offer. I do. You know I do. I just can't be my home anymore. Mm. Once I take care of this, I'll be ready to leave Pine Valley for good. Well, our loss. So you need my signature? Yeah, right here. Right here. Would you like a company at the cemetery? Thanks. But this is something that I need to do alone. Go, Pine Valley. Okay, gotta go. Weren't you supposed to be gone by now? That was the plan, wasn't it? To leave town and not look back. Well, I figured I'd just say one last goodbye to my old life before I roll out of here. What if it doesn't have to be goodbye? You have no idea what I'm running from. Well, then why don't you stop running? At least long enough to tell me about it. Jesse, I'm not the same screw-up you knew 20 years ago. I can help you. I know I can. The fact is, I've already started to look into things. What? I've been discreet. Nobody knows anything, and it's going to stay that way. But it would help me out a lot if you would give me a couple of the details. Tad, I've already put you in enough danger. Well, then I guess it's a good thing that I think you're worth the risk. I've been trying to dig myself out of this mess for years, man. And all I want is to be with Angie. I'm gonna talk with my son, get to know him, know his hopes, his dreams, his future, man. We both want the same thing. Yeah, I believe we do. But you need to do what I have asked you to do. Keep my family safe, Tad. Jesse, I Tad, to... you promise me. All right? Now, I know you're a man of your word. No one can ever know that I'm alive. You ever change your mind? You're an honorable man, Dad. I can't begin. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Be safe. Goodness, what's this? I thought you were on your way out the door when I last saw you. I just needed a minute. Yeah. You never guess who I just ran into. 
Mrs. Stanton of the hospital board. She was so disappointed with me for being unable to persuade you to stay on full time. You're not going to give this up. Angie, we have a world-class hospital here. You'd be head of the toxicology department. You would choose your own staff. You would have your own research budget. Any place but here, Joe. I can't do it. And I am truly sorry. Believe me, you... You were a mentor to me. You gave me my start. Well, then you could do me a favor. You could make me look good by being my top gun in the department. There are just too many memories here. I can't be here, Joe. I, I don't want to be here, not without my Jesse. Yeah. Well, you know, why don't you talk to him? Yeah. Tell Jesse what you told me. And then you make up your mind about leaving or staying. Oh, Joe. The truth is that I am just going to Jesse's grave to say goodbye. Because it's time. Uh, actually, I haven't had a chance to call Zach yet. My, my cell is in the overhead. I always keep mine with me. Except, of course, when I was underground with Zach. I didn't have it with me then, although it didn't, wouldn't have done me much good. I mean, his didn't work. But is Aiden back yet? Uh, no, no, not yet. I have no idea why we're delayed. Oh, I hope you make it to your signing. Yeah. Is that my friend? Yeah, it's Greenlee. Um, Aiden's back. Here he is. Bye. Hey, honey. How are you? Um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. We still have Kendall to keep you company. Yeah, what a coincidence, huh? We, uh, both ending up in the same flight. She's acting a little weird. Yes, yeah, it's because she's, um, she's nervous about the book signing, that's all. Hmm. Well, I hope you get to your job on time. Are you sure you're okay? Of course. Because I could try to get off this flight and uh, come back to the hospital. I'm fine. Really. Okay, I'll give you a call when I land. I love you, Aiden. I love you too. I'm totally lying. Being stuck here sucks. She knows something, Aiden. I know she does. There, there was this edge in her voice when she heard that we were together. Or maybe I sounded too nervous. Maybe I, I, I came across too nervous. <sighs> or maybe he's just paranoid. No, no, she could have been suspicious about us. And then all she had to hear was that we were together on the plane. Will you just calm down? For God's sake, all right? Before you drive us both nuts. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I know that this is hard, Zach, for, for, for all of us, for everybody, but... I, I, I don't know you. I, 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 don't, I don't know any. Kendall and Greenlee are the only two people that I do know. And trust. Annie, I'm trying here, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I get that. It's just hard listening to you talk about all the other women in your life. In his past. I was just leaving. I have to go. Do you have any idea when uh, Kendall will be back? It's going to be a while. Come sit. I appreciate it. Just, um, just tell her I came by, okay? You're already here. Come on. Let's talk. Have a beer. 